Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is Indices and Logarithms. So our subtopic is on the applications of logarithms. So we have been looking at different ways of calculating logarithms from the table and also getting the anti-logarithms. So today we are going to do some of the questions that integrate what we have been learning. This is a very commonly tested question. So I hope you are going to understand how we do this step by step. So you start with the first question. So basically we are just working on the logarithm of each value and then the final answer we look for the antilog. And remember for in the rules of indices when we have multiplication it means you're going to add the indices if we have division we are going to divide the indices so let's work this out so you start with the number so number then you write standard form and then the log so the number is uh 3.57 which become not point three three hundred fifty seven which becomes three point five seven because we move the decimal twice times ten power two. So if you look at the logarithm of three point five seven, normally how we were looking at the logarithm, we go to three point five where it is, and then we move across to seven. So this is where 7 is, which gives us 0 0.5527. So it is 0 0.5527. And this is, we are going to add 2. Because we said this is the same as 10 point, 0 0.5527 times 10 power 2. So our characteristic is positive. So this gives us 2.552. Two seven, so we go to the next number, which is forty seven point nine. In standard form, is going to be four point seven nine times ten power one. So if we get the logarithm of four point seven nine, we go to where four point seven is down below here. Nine, we move across to nine. It gives us zero point six eight zero three. So zero point six eight zero three and then plus the characteristic which is one which gives us one point six eight zero three so next because we have a multiplication sign it means we have to add the logarithm values so it's two point five five two seven plus one point six eight zero three which gives us um we are working out the value. Uh, so 13 and then 12 and then you carry one, uh, 4. So it gives us 4.2330. So if we get the antilog, we make this into a standard form. So this is 10 power 4 times 10 power 0. 2330. So we are checking 2330 in the logarithm inside. So it becomes 23. We go up here, 23. It's here. We got it. So it's 10 power 4 times 1.7. If you move across, 7, 1. So our answer is going to be, so you move two zeros, so it is 171, with two zeros, that is 171,100. So that's how you work out the value, um, especially when you have been told to look for the logarithm or this value. Let's do another question. So we have 456 times 398 times 271 now we have three values so we do it again the number the standard form and then the log 
so the number is 456 if you do this in standard form it becomes 4.56 times 10 power 2 and if you check the log of 4.56 so you come to 4.5 and then up to 6 which gives us uh, 0 uh, point five uh, six five nine zero and then plus two which is a characteristic which gives us two point six five nine zero and then the second number is three ninety eight the standard form becomes three point nine eight times ten power two as well so three point nine so you come to three point nine and then 8, you move up to 8, which gives us 5.9999, So it becomes 2.5999. I did it 2 because it was 0 0.5999 plus 2, which is the uh, characteristic, which gives us 2.5999. And then we have these two because they have multiplication you add them so it's 2.6590 plus 2.5999 you add this you get let's do that one more time and write it well 2.5999 you get zero uh, and then 18 and then 15 uh, 12 and then so the next value is 271. We put the standard form becomes 2.71 times 10 power 2. So 2.71, 0 0.4330. So if you add the characteristic, it becomes 2.4330. So remember there's a division. So if you see division, it means subtraction. So it is 5.2580 minus 2.4330, which gives us this value. So this becomes 2.6250. We get uh, the... Uh, Start how the indices are it becomes 10 power 0 0.6250 times 10 power 2. So the anti log of 0 0.6250 you look inside for 6250. So we have um, 6243, 6253. You see, our value is more than 6250 so we are going to pick the closest one which is 6243 so we are going to have 4.2 but remember the difference is 6250 uh, 0 0.6243 as we saw here uh, and the difference is 7 so we move across to the add sign to 7, we get 6, so it's 6. So we multiply this by 10 power 2, which gives us 4.26 times 100, which gives us 426. So that's how we look for the um, applications, especially when you have a division question. So let's work out this question in the case where you have a power instead of multiplication. So we have number, standard form, and log. So the number is 4.48. The standard form is just the same. So we get the log of 4.48. We start with 4.4 and then 8 across. You get 0. 6513 so 0 0.6513
but remember we have a power of 3 so when that happens it means you have to multiply everything by 3 so let's do that multiplication we get 1.9539 and then the second value is 3.16 we look at the log for that so we go to 3.1 and then we move across to 6 which gives us 0 0.4997 and then this is times 2 because of the power so this will give us 0 0.9994 so these two are subtracted because of the division sign so 1.95 39 minus 0 0.9994 so this gives us 5 and then we carry we carry 1 to get 13 which will give us 4 and then we carry again 11 which uh, gives us 2 and then we carry this to 11 which gives us 2, 0 0.9 so it gives us 0 0.2245 and when you look at the antilog, so we are looking for 2245 in the logarithm table. So we go to 22, we have 2201 and 227. So we take the 2201 because it's the closest, so it is 1.6 and then we get the subtraction 0 0.2246. And 0 0.2201 so the difference is 45 so this is 1.66 and the difference goes to uh, so it's going to be 9 because it's the closest so 9 which gives us 23 so it's 1.699 so that brings us to the end of uh, the session uh, check out more revision questions on the same and also notes on the same so that you can be able to see how and understand the topic see you in the next lesson